In this video, I'll show you how to attach more than one file in your submission in Blackboard so that you can send me your .html file as well as any image files. I did get a couple questions on this. So if you navigate to the assignment, it's learning content, or learning modules, module two, and scroll down to the assignments folder. So right here in assignments, we're on assignment three, and I ask you to please include your HTML file and your image files. So the way to do that, you can do this in one or two submissions. So click on the link, and when you click on the link, scroll down, browse my computer, navigate to wherever your files are, and my files happen to be here. I'm in CIS 119, sample image folder. Here's my HTML file, so I'm gonna attach that one first. Click open, and notice it appears in the list. Do that again for the image file. So browse my computer and it'll default to the same folder. In my case, it was this JPEG. So I'm gonna attach that, click open, right? And now they both appear in the list and you can click submit. Um, you can do this in two separate submissions. So you'll be, I won't, I, it, what, Blackboard does not allow me to do it because I'm an instructor, but you could click submit. And then you, I believe you get a push button that says start new. So click on start new and then you'll get this window again. And so you can browse my computer again and then go choose whatever file you didn't yet attach and hit submit. Um, if you know how to compress your files, you can do it that way as well. That will work just fine and you can just um, attach the one compressed folder. Uh, if you have any additional questions, just let me know. I do realize though, I'll just show you guys really quickly. Uh, that I forgot to add my image file in my samples. So when you navigate to the lesson videos, I have some samples in there. And in lesson six, the image width and height, I have my sample image.html file. I just added the JPEG as well. I forgot to attach that earlier. So you can download one, you can right click, save link as, right? And then save it wherever you're working and then right click, save link as, and make sure you put it in the same folder so that when you launch this page, uh, it will display the image correctly. Let me know if you have any questions.